This week's episode of the Art Tactic Podcast is sponsored by ArtBase. Are you managing an art collection, an artist studio, or a gallery? Is it time to bring your collection management skills up to a professional level? We think so. Well, ArtBase is the right software to manage your art business. ArtBase allows you to track your artworks and contacts in an easy-to-use, powerful database. You just enter your data once and use that data to generate reports, offers, contracts, and much more. They've got a brand new version out with a whole new look that can be used on the cloud from any location on any device. So what are you waiting for? Go to artbase.com now to learn more and be sure to mention Art Tactic for a 15% discount. Over the past 12 years, the Art Tactic podcast has grown to be a leading art market podcast. Each week we share an exclusive in-depth interview with a key art world insider. As we move into a new phase of programming, we want our broadcast to be listener-supported and create content that you want to hear, not what we think you want to hear. You can support us by visiting contribute.to slash arttactic. Thanks for listening to the Art Tactic Podcast. I'm your host, Adam Green. Hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. As awful as this pandemic's been, there have fortunately been some bright spots that have come out of it within the art world. One is the way in which the art community has come together to support one another in so many ways. And one example is Platform, which is a new e-commerce platform that's supported by David Zorner Gallery. The platform shows artworks for sale by artists from around the world, represented by several galleries. It was an especially valuable platform for galleries during the early part of the pandemic when galleries were forced to close their physical spaces. So in this week's episode of the podcast, we chat with Bettina Huang, the GM and head of Platform, about this and several other aspects of e-commerce and online art buying right now. We hope you enjoy the episode. Thanks so much for listening. Tina, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. I'm really excited to be here. So to start things off, for our listeners who aren't too familiar with Platform, tell us what exactly is it and how do you differentiate yourself from other e-commerce platforms in the art world that have popped up in the last few years? Um, Yeah, so we are an e-commerce site where anyone can buy art by the most sought-after young artists. And I think actually the second part of your question is really uh, an important one to answer how we're different than sites that claim to, that could say that they do the same. So we use an analogy that really helps people understand platform easily. So Net-A-Porte or opening ceremony maybe 10 years ago, so they were and are um, destinations where you could reliably find the most exciting new offerings in fashion, for example. So really edited, high quality, interesting. So you'd always go there and you'd always find something new that you didn't expect you'd love, and then you'd maybe stretch to buy it. So that analogy of a concept store, that's really what platform is for art. So unlike some sites that give you everything and you have to sift and you have to have expertise to know what you like, you have to have expertise to know what's good versus bad. Um, Also unlike sites that sell more decorative art, we're putting together selections that our expert team knows are the most exciting works by the most sought after young artists. So really anybody can go to platform and know that what they're buying is truly good art and really exciting. And so that means that you don't have to have um, the expertise to figure out on your own if it's, you know, good. You can just really focus on what personally resonates with you, what you fall in love with. Um, And it's that emotional experience that we really want people to have and I think that's very important. So um, the other thing that's different is that we make it really seamless to buy. So there are no inquiries, there's no vetting, which does happen when you buy art otherwise. Um, And you just add the work to your bag and get a shipping quote instantaneously if you live in one of the 40 countries we deliver to. And you can check it with your credit card. So it's very seamless, non-judgmental, really true e-commerce. And that's very, very different. Yeah, and one unique aspect of Platform is that you have a very close relationship with David Zwarner and David Zwarner Gallery. It's on your website. It's on social media. Tell us, what is David Zwarner's affiliation with Platform, and how did you get connected with him in the first place? David Zwarner is our backer financially. So in other words, rather than being a VC-funded startup, we're funded by the gallery. 
um, and how I got connected to him, um, how this all happened. Last year I was actually um, working at a job um, at another kind of big um, art establishment and was actually just kind of seeking some thoughts from um, Tracy Nolder, who's the COO at David Werner. She's someone I know from past lives uh, long ago. And um, she actually just recommended that rather than looking at this job elsewhere, I um, you know, pitch an idea to David. Um, and so anyways, um, that's how this all got started. You know, and the relationship with the gallery is really great because it means that Platform has this opportunity to work with members of the gallery where it really counts. And so primarily that's in terms of selecting the art that we sell on Platform. And this may sound obvious, but art's a little tricky because it's not a necessity in life. It doesn't perform a role. So someone thinking about buying it isn't looking to fill that in their lives. So that's not a criteria. So the other thing is it can also be a major purchase even at the prices that we sell offer on Platform. So it's really important for people to know that they're buying good art. And how do you know that? Well, the credibility that Platform gets from selecting art with some of the sales directors at David Zorn is really invaluable in that way, something that other um, startups don't have that I really appreciate and value and our customers do. So it's really key to getting a broader audience, but also the existing world of collectors alike to buy from us. Um, there really has to be that trust in the quality of what we sell and a lot of integrity. Um, and so how exciting is it to be able to really offer some of the most sought after artists and make that available to anybody, it's, I think. Um, very thrilling. Yeah, and I should mention that you show artists from around the world that are represented by many different galleries, not just David Zwerner. But I first came across Platform last year during the height of the pandemic when galleries were closed. And you were partnering with several galleries and really coming together to showcase some of their artists on the platform. And it really seemed to have a communal spirit to it, which was incredibly important during that time. Is that part of the mission of Platform, and was that part of the appeal for David Zwerner, who I know has been focused, I think, on the last few years of finding different ways to support uh, other galleries and artists that they aren't directly involved with? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's a really great observation. I'm so glad that you noticed that because we do really want Platform to be a company that helps to bring new people into art from the customer and, and collector perspective, but also a company that helps to build community and encourage collaboration within the art industry too. And so that sentiment is actually one that preceded the pandemic. It was important to David, you know, it has been important to him for years actually to be more collaborative and supportive of, um, of other galleries too because, um, I don't know, just the economics of running a gallery make it really hard for smaller businesses and that matters to him and it matters to us. Um, and so smart companies, for example, have realized that, you know, when they hire diverse teams, that's a good in and of itself, but it also creates better performing businesses. And it's kind of similar here. We really think that collaborating and, you know, supporting other businesses in art really makes for both a better world, but also for better businesses too. Um, and I guess one of the other benefits of being backed by David Zwerner, which is a gallery, is that other galleries trust that we understand what's important to them and we're going to do right by them. And we work really, really hard to do that. And I'm also interested in learning more about the galleries who partner with you and what, what are some of their motivations to show on platform? And also, how difficult was it for you to first convince them to show works on your site when you were just a brand new e-commerce platform? Good question. Um, I'll start with the second question first. Uh, galleries, we're really excited about partnering with Platform, even from the start before, you know, when we were just building and you know, no one could even see a website. Um, and that enthusiasm has been growing, which is really wonderful to see. Um, one of the proof points of how strong and authentic that is, is the fact that um, so many galleries work with their artists to create work specifically to offer on Platform. Um, and so a lot of the works that you see on platform are really making their debut in the world. And that really is just such a, an amazing vote of confidence. Um, it's also, it's just really interesting because we've learned that gallery, gallery partners sell uh, with us for a variety of reasons, some of which we expected and planned for, and then some of which we hoped for, but um, we weren't necessarily expecting. So. 
um, in terms of the ones that we expected. Um, we expected that galleries that wanted to work with us, and you know there are many, um, would just believe in the importance of um, you know really having a strong digital channel that actually works well. Um, you know these are galleries who really understand the importance of you know selling art online and kind of the strong momentum behind that. So um, you know they are also really thoughtful about who they partner with because they're you know very they have great amazing artists artists and they're great brands themselves. So they want to make sure that they're choosing the right channel. And for them, platform is that right choice. We're designed to show art at its best. We're going to make sales. We make sure the whole experience is really beautiful and seamless. It's really a strong attention to quality. Um, also, um, you know, we have an amazing team, um, and that includes a marketing team that comes from e-commerce marketing for high-end e-commerce sites. So we really know how to use digital tools well to build an international audience. And so the idea of bringing new customers to our galleries and exposing their artists to a broader audience is really important. And then of course, incremental sales are important to these businesses too. And you know, it's really important for us. I mean, I've designed the way we work such that we take on a lot of the, the legwork to make sure that our experience is efficient for galleries. So for example, there's a, a portal that we built for them. That's where they go to see orders and download shipping labels. You know, it's a very easy experience, and that way we work hard to streamline that. Um, but we also do things like, you know, we take raw assets from the galleries, like images and and um, descriptions of artwork, and we do a lot of just like the polishing and editing to make sure it's all within a consistent voice for platform, to make sure it all looks very accurate and beautiful, so that platform is a beautiful experience, and they really value that too. Um, one thing that was less expected but really wonderful is that galleries seem to really value the opportunity to show their artists on platform. And we've gotten a sense of that through conversations um, with some of the galleries that we've partnered with so far, that this is a part of the exhibition history of artworks, and um, that's really a value add for them as well. Yeah, and given that you are leading an e-commerce site and are often interacting, I'm sure, with collectors who are uh, buying on your site or thinking about buying on your site, how comfortable would you say collectors are nowadays with buying art online without seeing it in person? And how do you think this will evolve over the next several years? Uh, well, I would say that uh, seasoned collectors and those new to buying art alike are really pretty comfortable with the, you know, the process of looking at art online. Um, they're really pretty comfortable with it already. I mean, buying is new to them, but that's also, it seems like there isn't resistance to it. The whole world has done so much buying and selling of all kinds of things, um, you know, including very visual and designed objects and very high-end objects for years. The pandemic, you know, of course, forced holdouts to get more comfortable with buying online too. So there's that. We also took a lot of care to design platform with details to overcome hesitancy and help give customers more confidence in what they were buying. So for example, we show every artwork in situ to scale so that you know the size and so that you can envision the work in a home. Ideally, you can envision it in your own home. Um, we also have a feature called specs, which is kind of like a blueprint that shows the dimensions of a work in case that helps also better understand the physicality of it. Um, we make sure our images are really high res so that you can see the texture and details. Um, all of that is meant to really get the experience as close as possible to being able to see you know, what you need to see to make that purchase. Um, I don't think we'll ever have a world without brick and mortar galleries. Just like I don't think and I, I hope we don't ever have a world without brick and mortar shops. But I think in, that customers will, will get more and more comfortable with you know, buying art online over the coming years. I, I think that that's quite inevitable. But I do think that it will still be that partnership of selling online and having you know, physical experiences and transactions in real life too. Um, I actually think that the hurdle is less about getting people comfortable with e-commerce. It's more about getting more people, a broader audience, to realize that art which has been off limits to so many people for so long, 
is now really available to them, and it's really desirable art that they might actually be able to afford. Uh, that's, to me, actually the, the bigger um, challenge, but we'll get there. Bettina, thanks so much again for coming on to the podcast and chatting with us about platform as well as some trends you're seeing in the online art buying space. If our listeners want to visit platform and browse some of the art and maybe buy something, what's the best way for them to do that? Um, the you know, URL is platformart.com. We also have a really, I think, a really great um, dynamic Instagram, so check that out at platformart underscore com. Perfect. Thanks so much again, Bettina. Thank you, too. We want to thank Artbase for sponsoring this week's episode of the Art Tactic Podcast. Are you managing an art collection, an artist, studio, or gallery? Is it time to bring your collection management skills up to a professional level? Well, Artbase is the right software to manage your art business. Artbase allows you to track your artworks and contacts in an easy-to-use, powerful database. All you do is enter your data once, and you use that data to generate reports, offers, contracts, and a bunch more. They've got a brand new version out with a whole new look that can be used in the cloud from any location on any device. So go to artbase.com now to learn more, and be sure to mention Art Tactic for a 15% discount.